There's something primal about the desire to fly, a yearning woven into the fabric of our being. Since the dawn of time, humans have gazed up at the birds soaring effortlessly above, longing to experience that same freedom. For many, that longing doesn't fade with time, it grows stronger, fueled by a desire to conquer the skies, to touch the clouds, to experience the world from a completely different perspective. Building your own aircraft is the ultimate expression of that yearning. It's a challenging, demanding and incredibly rewarding journey that requires dedication, skill, and a healthy dose of passion. But for those who dare to dream, the rewards are immeasurable. Imagine the thrill of taking to the skies in a machine you built with your own two hands, the culmination of countless hours of sweat, determination, and sheer willpower. This isn't just about assembling parts, it's about breathing life into metal, wood, and fabric. It's about transforming raw materials into a vessel capable of defying gravity and carrying your dreams skyward. It's about joining a long lineage of aviation pioneers, those who dared to push the boundaries of what's possible and redefine the limits of human ingenuity. But let me tell you, building an aircraft is not for the faint of heart. It's a test of patience, a crucible of problem solving, and a testament to the power of perseverance. But if you're up for the challenge, if you have the drive and determination to see it through, then buckle up my friend because we're about to embark on an incredible journey. A journey that will take you from the drawing board to the clouds, a journey that will forever change the way you see the world. Before you even think about picking up a wrench or ordering your first piece of aluminum, you need a plan. And not just any plan, a detailed, meticulous roadmap that will guide you through every step of the process, from the initial design concept to the final coat of paint. This is where the dream starts taking shape, where your vision transforms from a nebulous aspiration into a concrete reality. The first order of business? Define your mission. What kind of aircraft do you want to build? Are you dreaming of graceful cross-country flights, heart-pounding aerobatic maneuvers, or the short field versatility of a bush plane? Each type of aircraft has its own unique design considerations and performance characteristics, so it's crucial to have a clear understanding of your goals before you proceed. Next, you'll need to choose a design. Are you going to start from scratch and design your own aircraft, or will you opt for a pre-designed plan or kit? Designing your own aircraft offers unparalleled freedom and creative control, but demands a deep understanding of aerodynamics, structural engineering, and a host of other disciplines. If you're new to aircraft construction, a pre-designed plan or kit is a great way to get started. Finally, you need to decide on the materials. Will you build with traditional wood and fabric, sturdy and reliable metal, or lightweight, high-performance composites? Each material has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to weigh your options carefully. Consider factors like cost, weight, strength, durability, and your own skill level when making your decision. This is a critical decision that will impact every aspect of your build, so choose wisely. With a plan in hand and a heart full of anticipation, it's time to gather your tools and create a workspace where ingenuity can flourish. This is your domain, your sanctuary of creation, where raw materials will be transformed into a testament to human ingenuity. First things first, you need space, and not just any space, a dedicated area with ample room to move around your project, store materials, and accommodate the tools of your trade. A garage, workshop, or even a well-lit and ventilated shed can serve as your aviation workshop. Next, you'll need to outfit your workspace with the tools and equipment necessary to bring your vision to life. This isn't your grandfather's toolbox. We're talking specialized equipment designed for the precision and craftsmanship required in aircraft construction. Drills, rivet guns, sheet metal shears, welding equipment if you're working with metal, and a plethora of hand tools will become your trusted companions on this journey. But it's not just about the tools themselves, it's about creating an environment conducive to focus and inspiration. Good lighting is essential, as are comfortable work surfaces and ample storage for tools, materials, and components. Think of your workspace as an extension of your own mind, a place where creativity and craftsmanship converge. Remember, Building an aircraft is a marathon, not a sprint, so make sure your workspace is comfortable and conducive to long hours of focused work. And don't forget to personalize your space, after all, this is your dream we're building here. Now, the real work begins. With your plan finalized, your workspace prepped, and your tools at the ready, it's time to start building the backbone of your aircraft, the fuselage. This is the heart of the beast, 
the structure that will house you, your passengers, and all the vital components that will make your dream of flight a reality. The process begins with the frame, typically constructed from metal tubing or wooden beams, depending on your chosen design. Think of this as the skeleton of your aircraft, the framework upon which everything else will be built. Precision is key here. Any misalignment or error in the frame will cascade throughout the rest of the build. Once the frame is complete, you'll begin attaching the skin, the outer layer that gives the fuselage its aerodynamic shape. This could be sheets of aluminum painstakingly riveted in place, fabric carefully stretched and stitched over a wooden frame, or composite panels bonded together for maximum strength and lightweight. As you work, you'll be constantly referring to your plans, measuring twice and cutting once, ensuring that every piece fits together perfectly. This is where your patience, attention to detail, and commitment to quality will be truly tested. Remember, building an aircraft is like assembling a giant, three-dimensional puzzle, but with far higher stakes. Every step is critical, every connection vital to the structural integrity and safety of your aircraft. Take your time, be meticulous, and never be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Section 5. Wings of Wonder Crafting Lift and Control with the fuselage taking shape, it's time to turn our attention to the wings, those magnificent structures that will defy gravity and carry your dreams aloft. This is where the magic of flight truly comes to life, where engineering prowess meets artistry in motion. Building wings is a meticulous process, demanding precision, patience, and a deep understanding of aerodynamic principles. Whether you're crafting elegant wooden ribs and spars or assembling prefabricated metal components, the goal is the same to create a structure that is both strong and light, capable of generating lift while remaining rigid and stable in flight. You'll start by building the wing spars, the main structural members that run the length of the wing providing strength and rigidity. Next come the ribs, the curved elements that give the wing its aerodynamic shape. These are carefully attached to the spars, creating a framework that will soon be covered with a smooth skin. Once the wing structure is complete, it's time to install the control surfaces, ailerons, flaps, and possibly leading edge slats. These movable surfaces allow the pilot to control the aircraft's roll, pitch, and lift, making it responsive to the pilot's commands. Finally, the wings are covered with a smooth skin, either fabric stretched taut over the ribs or metal sheets meticulously riveted in place. This skin is what allows air to flow smoothly over the wing, creating the lift that will carry your aircraft skyward. The wings are then carefully attached to the fuselage, ensuring perfect alignment and a secure connection. This is a critical step, as the wings are subjected to tremendous forces during flight. Section 6. The Heart of the Machine Engine and Avionics With the airframe taking shape, it's time to breathe life into your creation by installing the heart of the machine, the engine. This is where raw power meets mechanical symphony, transforming fuel and air into thrust, propelling your dream into the sky. Choosing the right engine is crucial, as it dictates your aircraft's performance, range, and payload capacity. Factors to consider include weight, horsepower, fuel efficiency, and compatibility with your aircraft design. From roaring radial engines to sleek modern turboprops, the options are as diverse as the aircraft they power. Installing an engine is a complex and meticulous process, requiring a thorough understanding of the engine's operating principles and the manufacturer's installation instructions. You'll be working with fuel lines, electrical systems, cooling systems, and exhaust systems, ensuring everything is connected properly and functioning flawlessly. But it's not just about brute force. Modern aircraft rely on sophisticated avionics to navigate, communicate, and ensure safe operation. This includes everything from radios and navigation equipment to transponders, autopilots, and engine monitoring systems. Installing avionics is like wiring a miniature city, requiring patience, attention to detail, and a thorough understanding of electrical systems. You'll be running wires, connecting sensors, and testing circuits, ensuring that everything is working perfectly before you ever leave the ground. Remember the engine and avionics are the lifeblood of your aircraft. Take your time, follow the instructions meticulously, and never hesitate to seek expert advice when needed. Section 7. Putting on the finishing touches. With the major components in place, it's time to focus on the details, those finishing touches that transform a collection of parts into a sleek, airworthy machine. This is where your personal style can shine, where you can add those custom elements that make your aircraft truly unique. 
Inside the cockpit, you'll be installing seats, instruments, controls, and all the creature comforts that make flying a joy. Choose comfortable seats that provide adequate support during long flights. Select instruments that are easy to read and provide all the information you need at a glance. And don't forget about the little things like cup holders, storage compartments, and a good sound system. On the exterior, you'll be sanding, priming, and painting your aircraft, giving it a durable and aesthetically pleasing finish. This is your chance to let your personality shine through, whether you prefer classic aviation stripes, a sleek modern design, or a vibrant custom paint job. But it's not just about looks. The exterior finish also plays a crucial role in reducing drag and protecting your aircraft from the elements. Use high-quality paints designed for aircraft applications and apply them carefully to achieve a smooth professional finish. Remember, the finishing touches are your opportunity to personalize your aircraft, to make it a reflection of your own unique style and vision. Take your time, enjoy the process, and don't be afraid to get creative. Section 8. The Moment of Truth, Inspections and Test Flights. The day has finally arrived, the culmination of countless hours of toil, sweat, and unwavering dedication. Your aircraft, once a collection of blueprints and raw materials, now stands before you, a testament to human ingenuity, ready to take to the skies. But before you can experience the exhilaration of your first flight, there are crucial steps to ensure your safety and the airworthiness of your creation. First and foremost, your aircraft must undergo rigorous inspections to ensure it meets the stringent safety standards set forth by aviation authorities. This is not a time for shortcuts or complacency. A qualified inspector will scrutinize every detail of your aircraft, from the structural integrity of the airframe to the reliability of the engine and systems, leaving no bolt unturned, no wire unchecked. Once your aircraft receives its airworthiness certificate, the real fun begins, test flights. This is where theory meets reality, where you'll put your creation through its paces, evaluating its performance, handling, and overall airworthiness. Initial test flights are typically conducted in a controlled environment with experienced pilots at the controls, gradually expanding the flight envelope as confidence in the aircraft grows. These flights are not just about ticking boxes, they're about experiencing your creation come to life, feeling the responsiveness of the controls, hearing the symphony of the engine, and witnessing the culmination of your dreams soaring gracefully through the sky. Remember, safety remains paramount throughout this process. Approach test flights with caution, respect the power of your creation, and never hesitate to abort a flight if anything seems amiss. Section 9. Taking to the skies, the ultimate reward. The moment you've been working towards, dreaming of, sacrificing for has finally arrived. The airworthiness certificate is in hand, the test flights successfully completed, and your aircraft, gleaming under the sun, awaits its maiden voyage with you, its creator, at the controls. This is what it's all been about, the culmination of countless hours of sweat, determination, and unwavering belief. Climbing into the cockpit, you're not just strapping into an aircraft, you're strapping into a dream, a testament to your own capabilities, a symbol of what can be achieved with passion, perseverance, and a healthy dose of grit. The familiar pre-flight checks take on a whole new meaning, each action resonating with the knowledge that you built this, every wire, every rivet, every control surface a product of your own labor. The engine roars to life, its familiar hum transformed into a symphony of power and purpose. You taxi onto the runway, the airframe vibrating with anticipation, eager to break free from the surly bonds of Earth. And then, it happens. You ease back on the control stick, the nose lifts skyward, and you're airborne. The world shrinks beneath you as you climb higher, leaving behind the mundane cares of everyday life, entering a realm where freedom reigns supreme. The sun warms your face, the wind whispers tales of adventure, and a profound sense of satisfaction washes over you. You did it. You built your own aircraft, and now, you're flying it. This is the ultimate reward, the culmination of a journey that tested your limits, pushed you beyond your comfort zone, and ignited within you a passion that will last a lifetime. Enjoy this moment, savor the freedom, and never stop exploring the endless possibilities that lie beyond the horizon.